this video today is about why you should shoot raw and the advantages of shooting raw and before i can go ahead i'm ronix from ronix photography and yeah welcome to this tutorial and this tutorial is about the advantages of shooting raw and uh this is like a raw versus jpeg war i should say so you guys you should see how this image was and i took this image a while a while ago last year and you can see the settings i use for this image and i usually i shoot raw and jpeg but uh this image uh, really looks uh nice and yeah I, I wanted to see if i can go ahead and recover the blown out details in this image and yeah and since i still had my raw files i just gave it a try and you can see this is the before and the after so i think this is the advantage of shooting raw uh you can see I was still setting up my camera and my softbox and everything so I decided to take this as my test shot but uh, it got blown out as you can see and now since I was taking raw images and I didn't uh, get bothered with it so I, I wanted to delete this file today but I just decided let me just give it a try and try to see if I can recover it so uh, this is the, uh, what I tried to recover and let me show you guys what I did to recover most of the details that were blown out in this image and for the settings I'd used initially it was a raw file and I used a Canon 6D camera and I shot it at f4 at 1 out of 20th of a second at ISO 640 I don't know why my ISO was really really high and I used a 50mm lens so let me reset everything right here so i'm going to reset everything so that i can show you guys um how we are going to try to recover this image so come to your basic uh adjustments panel right after dragging and dropping opening your image in photoshop and first of all you can see the highlights are blown out just come and knock the down completely because we are fighting hard to recover the blown out highlights and since we have so my so many whites in this image come and also come to the whites and knock them all the way down and since uh, it is an exposure problem in this portrait what we are going to do we are going to come to the exposure of the image and we are going to also knock it down don't worry if you knock it down completely i think this is fine so remember we are lacking contrast in this image because it it kind of looks pale so i'm going to come right here and i'm going to pump up the contrast to around nine then i'm going to add blacks to uh, supplement my contrast in this image so i'm going to come right here to my blacks and i'm going to also pull them in yeah i'm going to put it around negative 69 or you can go in for 70 something so let's go uh, with this so i think you can see our progress for this portrait so after doing this uh we are going to come to clarity and we are going to add in a little bit of clarity uh, to kind of uh, get back the details in the skin and after that we are going to come to uh, the vibrance and we are going to pump it up to uh, regain the vibrant colors in this portrait after doing so we are going to come uh, right here to the sharpening or the detail pan right here and first of all we are going to mask by pressing down the old button on the keyboard and uh, masking out the area we want now we are going to sharpen the image just drag and i think we are going to sharpen it to around 72 you can see we have already gained back uh, the image and yeah you can't trash such an image it is now we have uh, money to regain back the details in this image and this is why you guys should always shoot raw because if at all this was a wedding you could have lost uh, most of the details and you could have uh, deleted or trashed this image but 
are here we are right now we are now regaining the details in this image and uh, now we are going to try to color grade the image and yeah this tutorial is, is for only camera roll and we're not going to do any skin retouching for this specific image so we are going to come right to uh remember we're going to come to the greens in the image and you're going to play around with the green color in the portrait so i think i should go in for around a hue of plus 47 and plus the yellows too let me play around with that i'm going to go in for 18 then i'm going to come to the luminance of still the yellows and the greens and i'm going to pump this up a little bit and i'm going to come to uh, my camera calibration right here and i'm going to uh, play around with this slider to see what really works for me so i'm going to uh, hue the red primary to around five and the green primary i'm going to just uh, slide this and see what really works for you and i'm going to come to uh, the blue primary you can see you pull it all the way down it comes red and here it turns green so we are going to leave it at around uh, minus eight yeah so this is how far we have come with the image so you can see uh, the before color grading after before you can see what we have done for this portrait yeah so come back to your basic panel and uh, if at all you feel you're not satisfied with the exposure and everything you can still come and knock it down a little bit and you can as well knock it down completely and just come to the shadows and pull it all the way up so this tutorial guys has been about why you should shoot raw and the advantages and uh, had it been a jpeg image remember when you shoot in jpeg uh, you tend to uh, have all your details compressed in one image and they are just compressed and tightened up while you're shooting so it will give you it will give you like a final look of how your image is going to be so if at all you shoot raw it will give you that expansion of how adjusting your image uh, to uh, the image of your liking so this is why I should advise everyone to keep on shooting raw. Yeah, and if at all you'd like to shoot JPEG, I would advise you to shoot both raw and JPEG. And a simple reminder, make sure you have enough storage when you're shooting raw and JPEG. Because if you're at all you're at a wedding, you don't want to risk yeah, losing out and missing out moments because you don't have enough space on your camera. So I'd advise you guys keep on shooting grow yeah and if at all you love this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and drop a comment in the comment section about this video i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching till next time